And tonight we're hearing from the Kenosha mayor for the first time since the DA's big decision not to charge any of the officers. John Antaramian wants businesses to take their boards down and citizens to get involved in our wide ranging one on one. He says the DA had a tough decision. It's a Fox 6 exclusive. No Kenosha law enforcement officer in this case will be charged with any criminal offense. Did you think that was the right decision? I think that the district attorney is a very honorable man and who did what he thought was the right thing to do. And I'm not gonna to attempt to second guess any time that law enforcement from the DA's office makes a determination. Did the investigation change your opinion at all of what happened in the video that you saw? That's an interesting question. I, I, I think the only way I can answer that is, and I think anyone who sees someone shot it, it feels sick with what you saw. Um, but I'm not the person who was there, and I do not have all the information, though I will be looking at information now. Uh, but that is the decision the DA made, and I have faith in the DA as to his determinations. A lot of people are wondering, what is the future of Officer Shevsky with the city of Kenosha? That is a decision that would have to be made um, after the chief does his review, which is uh, something that is starting now. And that would then go to the Police and Fire Commission. The Police and Fire Commission has control over the hiring and firing of police officers. Do you think he should still be a police officer in the city? I think that for me to try to speculate on something is not a good idea. It's, it is up to the Police and Fire Commission to make that determination. Yeah, but you're the mayor of the city. You have yep, your opinions. And, and, you've, and I've, I've, I've kind of given you my answer. <laughs> Are you afraid that when people say the word Kenosha, it's forever tied to this shooting? No. Then, I believe we will get to a point where they will look at Kenosha and, and they will look at the things we have done and say that is what communities should be doing. I know everyone in this community wants to move forward. Is that difficult knowing that you have a trial ahead of you in this that will happen downtown in this city with Kyle Rittenhouse that will gain national attention and will stir up raw emotions? Uh, of course it is. It's always going to be a concern. But it is a fact of what is going to happen, and it's up to the community as to how we portray ourselves and how we deal with the issue. And that's why I say we'll move forward from it, we'll deal with it, and we will, in the end, be a stronger community with what we do and how we lead. We have an opportunity here, and that opportunity is to, to show the world and the community and other parts of this country how to change. How do we create the situation so that we become a better place to live? How do we create the situation that we actually allow people to have the conversations that they need to have? That is what we need to be focusing on. Does it make it more difficult if the Proud Boys decide to come of into Of course town? it does. I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and say it doesn't, of course it does. Is the city preparing for what could happen? The city is preparing as, in, in all cases, for the, the, whatever consequences that may occur because of the trial or anything else. We will treat everyone the same and everyone will be treated fairly. That is what we are pushing very hard to do to make sure that that occurs. And we are also looking at how we change our community to make it a better place to live. Obviously you guys were prepared for the worst. Um, what's happened in the last week in, in Kenosha and how has it played out before your eyes? Actually, I, I'm very pleased with the response that we received in, from the people in the city of Kenosha. Those individuals who were protesting um, did so peacefully. They did everything uh, the right way. They have every right to be out there and it's our responsibility to make sure they're safe. And we made sure that we were there, worked with the leaders to make sure that they did not have problems with their protests and worked with them all the way through the process. And I can only say good things about the groups and how they, uh, they reacted with the police and how they reacted with the community. Um, and so I'm very pleased with what they did. And for as much pain as there's been in this community, you must be really proud, too, of some of the things that have happened. I'm actually very proud of a lot of people who've stepped up, worked with the business people and in the community. I'm also proud of, and I, I know that this probably will sound, some people will look at me funny, I think, maybe on this, but I'm also proud of, of a lot of the young protesters who have come up and have been protesting and have been doing it the right way. They're trying to make a point and they're doing it peacefully and they're doing it the right way. And so I think that I am proud of them also. I think that there are a lot of people who have done a good job. I'm proud of the police department and how they've handled the situation since the shooting and all, all those types of situations. 
they have done what they need to do. They have been out to the public and we will continue to do that. How would you describe this last 12 months? Sad. I think that's probably the best word I can use, sad. Um, because it doesn't show Kenosha as what it really is. There's so many opportunities that happen. The press comes to, to your community and everything else. And it's a sad day when this is the type of press that we ended up getting. So in that sense, it's sad. But it is also an opportunity. An opportunity as a community to grow. An opportunity for us to show we are different. An opportunity for us to become something better. Though it's, uh, it was a sad situation, I will also tell you that I think that we will be better because of it. And that's a hard thing to say, but I think we will definitely improve our community and improve the opportunity for your young people in this community. And that's what we have to look at. Where do we go from here? How do we become better? I can see it in your face. This has been heartbreaking for you. <laughs> yeah, more so than probably most people realize, because this is my community. And um, lived here all my life. I know my neighbors. I know the people here. And I know that everybody has gone through a difficult, difficult time. And we will get through it. And we will be better for it. Mayor Antaramian says change is coming following George Floyd's death in Minneapolis. The city was in the process of creating what they're calling their own roadmap for the future. And then the Blake shooting happened. He says they're getting back to work. Meetings are scheduled in the next couple of weeks here. The city's next big challenge may come soon. Kyle Rittenhouse's trial scheduled for March.